Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Variant, I give you guys the long-awaited history of all the Lanin cores. Welcome to Variant. We love comics more than I want to drive the Batmobile from Batman v Superman. Actually, that's probably a tie. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. One of the most requested history of episodes has been a history of all the Lantern Corps, which is what brings us to today's episode. So for all of you who've wanted this episode for a while now and have waited ever so patiently, here you go. Before I get into talking about all the cores, I just want to note that I have to cover nine different Lantern cores, so obviously I'm not going to be able to tell you every single thing about each core. Of course, everything I do mention is going to be the main points you need to know, including telling you each of their oaths. So if I miss something, you now know why. Getting into it, all the Lantern cores come from the emotional spectrum, which are the energies created by the emotions of sentient life, visible as different wavelengths of light. Now that's just a brief summary of where all the cores and their powers derive from, but let's get into the actual cores, shall we? Let's start with the most popular of them all, the Green Lantern Core. At the beginning of the universe, the population of the planet Moltis evolved into powerful and highly intelligent beings. They soon colonized a planet situated in the center of the universe, Oa. From then on, they called themselves Owens. After one of their own, the renegade Crone, performed an experiment that nearly annihilated all of creation, the Owens promised from that moment forward to combat evil throughout all regions of space, no matter how desolate, as the self-appointed Guardians of the Universe. The Guardians of the Universe eventually created the Green Lantern Core around 3 billion years ago. And then, as most of you know, the Green Lantern Corps became an intergalactic police force dedicated to the promotion of order and democracy throughout the universe. Each Green Lantern member protects a sector of the universe, and it's their duty to defend it from any possible threat. The Green Lanterns wield green light, which is the power of will. So the stronger the wearer's will, the stronger the lantern's constructs become, and the stronger the lantern becomes overall. Now, of course, I can't forget the Green Lantern Oath, which sounds a little something like this. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power Green Lantern's light. And as you'll see, all the other Lantern Oaths sort of follow the Green Lantern Oath format. Moving on, we have the Sinistral Corps and or the Yellow Lanterns. The Sinistral Corps is a mirror organization to the Green Lantern Corps. Its members are chosen from those who can instill great fear and are given Cordian Yellow Power Rings. They are considered to be the evil equivalent of the Green Lantern Corps. After Sinistro's defeat at the hands of Hal Jordan and Kyle Rayner, Sinistro retreated to Cord, where he began building his own core based off his yellow power ring and the power of fear, embodied by Parallax. The purpose of doing so was for Sinistro to form his own core that would enforce his vision of order, of which he had always been at odds with with the Green Lantern Corps during his time as a member. He built the Sinistro Corps in secret, recruiting beings from all sectors of the universe in the same way the Guardians of the Universe did for the Green Lanterns. And side note, having the power of fear is kind of freaking awesome, and when they made Scarecrow Yellow Lantern, I was like, yes, that. As for the Sinestro Core Oath, it's definitely one of my favorites, and it's as follows. In blackest day, in brightest night, beware your fears made into light. Let those who try to stop what's right burn like his power, Sinestro's might. Next, we have the Lanterns of Rage, and they would be the Red Lanterns. They're a savage parallel of the Green Lantern Core. The Red Lantern Core is fueled by the Light of Rage. Their core was founded by Atrocitus. He's one of the five surviving members of the Massacre of Sector 666. Atrocitus anointed the Red Lantern in blood and harnessed the emotional spectrum's Red Light of Rage. Their definitely one of the more popular cores out right now and one of my favorites. They even have their own new 52 title. And somewhat recently they had Guy Gardner and Supergirl become a Red Lantern. But now you all want to know their oath, which is, with blood and rage of crimson red ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate we'll burn you all, that is your fate. Yeah. They're definitely one of my favorite Lantern Corps. Next, we have the Orange Lantern Corps, the color of avarice or greed. The orange light has only one wielder, the thief Larflees. Larflees and the orange power battery are essentially just Gullum and his precious from the Lord of the Rings. Larflees jealously guards his precious treasure, living in complete isolation on the assumption that anyone he encounters is out to steal the orange light from him. The Guardians of the Galaxy negotiated a non-aggression pact with him a long time ago, stating he would never unleash the orange light on the universe in exchange for the Guardians leaving him alone, which led to the long-lasting prohibition of the Green Lanterns entering the Vegas system, which is where he lives. However, this pack was eventually shattered, and Larflees, or Agent Orange as he likes to call himself, unleashed a terrible power of the Orange Light, which allows him to create deadly avatars of those he has slaughtered, allowing him to create entire Orange Lantern armies from his victims. And now the Orange Lantern Oath, and I'm not joking, it goes just like this. 
What's mine is mine, and mine and mine, and mine and mine and mine, not yours. Now, if you couldn't tell from that, Larflees is definitely a fun and interesting character, and I recommend checking out his one-shot Christmas special, which is pretty hilarious. On to the next core, we have the Blue Lanterns, powered by the Blue Light of Hope. The Blue Lantern core has been tasked with bringing hope to the desperate universe, to see it through the dark times that lie ahead. They are both the strongest and weakest of the Lanterns. The Blue Lantern core was founded by Ganthet and Sade, two former guardians of the universe. For daring to acknowledge the Blackest Night prophecy, they were banished from Oa. After their exile, they settled on the planet Odom to create the first Blue Lantern Power Ring and eventually the Blue Lantern Corps itself. What's interesting about the Blue Lantern Corps is their protocol has the newest member select the next candidate for the Corps, which is kind of cool if you ask me. As for their oath, it goes like this. In fearful day, in raging night, with strong hearts full, our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars, for hope burns bright. Next is the Indigo Corps, or more accurately, the Indigo Tribe. The Indigo Tribe was a mysterious group that had harnessed the power of the Indigo Light of Compassion from the emotional spectrum. Their creation was traced to the Green Lantern Admin Sora during his service with the Green Lantern Corps. At some point, he came to the planet Nock that was being besieged by aggressive explorers that had enslaved the native inhabitants. They coated the Indigo Light on their weapons and realized that their attackers struck by it suddenly felt remorse as well as regret over all their actions. After this, Admin Sora decided to harness the Indigo Light of Compassion. Admin Sora did this once he learned of the Blackest Night Prophecy. The Indigo Tribe uses a staff as the lantern, but they also have Indigo Rings. Regarding their oath, it's in another language, but never fear, I have roughly translated it for you guys. In sorrowful day and misfortunate night, we help those who need our might. With the lantern power of Abin Sor, we rid your misery with compassion of might. Now again, that's just a rough translation. Moving along, we have the Violet Lanterns, or the Star Sapphire Corps. They use the Violet Light of Love. Originally, there was only one Star Sapphire, and that was Carol Ferris. In the Silver Age of the comics, she was both a friend and foe to Hal Jordan. She was imbued with the power of the Star Sapphire, which made her mad with love. The power was given to her by the Samarans. When it was revealed by the prophecy in the Book of Oa that numerous Lantern Corps would emerge, it became apparent that the Star Sapphire Corps would be one of them. After one of the Samarans was possessed by a Star Sapphire gem, the race of females realized that the gems were simply too overpowering and unwielding to use. So the Samarans decided to learn from the Guardians of the Universe and refashion the gems into power rings and create a core. Unlike the gems, the wielders of the rings were aware of their actions and could control the impulses of the rings. In doing so, they changed the legacy of the Star Sapphire from being a single villain to a group of heroes. Their oath is as follows. For hearts long lost and full of fright, for those alone in blackest night, accept our rings and join our fight. Love conquers all with violet light. And now we're down to our two last lantern cores, the second to last one being the Black Lanterns. The Black Lantern Corps is composed of reanimated bodies of former heroes, villains, and even normal people from all across the DC universe. They are powered from the corpse of the Anti-Monitor and led by the Black Hand. They have the power to raise the dead, so as you guys may have guessed, their power is death. Necron, who's the embodiment of death and darkness, birthed the Black Lantern Corps into existence. On Earth, a villain called Black Hand became increasingly aware of the black power within him. Realizing what was required of him, Black Hand killed himself and rose from the dead as the herald of Necron's power. With his rise came a horde of black power rings that scattered through the universe to recruit the dead into the Black Lantern Corps, beginning the Blackest Night. Now, if all that sounds awesome, that's because it is. Zombie versions of superheroes are always great, especially the Black Lantern Batman. He looks awesome. Speaking of awesome, we have the Black Lantern Oath. The blackest night falls from the skies, the darkness grows as all light dies. We crave your hearts and your demise, by my black hand the dead shall rise. And finishing out our Lantern Corps is the White Lantern Corps. As you would expect, the White Lanterns are the opposite of the Black Lanterns, and the opposite of death is life, which is what the White Lanterns are all about. Their white energy constructs are powered by life itself. The White Lantern Corps was formed when Hal Jordan merges with the Entity. For those of you who don't know, the Entity is an ancient creature that is responsible for the creation of all life in the DC Universe. Once the White Lantern Corps was formed, they went up against Necron and the Black Lantern Corps at the end of Blackest Night. The white light is the first light, and in essence, all the other colors of the emotional spectrum combine into one. So the user of the white ring can generate any color of the emotional spectrum and use the powers of each color. The white ring also allows the user to access the rings of any member of any of the other cores and observe these members. Basically what I'm saying is, if you're a white lantern, you're a bamf. What's most notable about the White Lantern Corps and or the White Light is it's responsible for bringing a bunch of heroes back to life who were previously dead pre-New 52, like Martian Manhunter, Aquaman, and Hawkman, just to name a few. And more recently, in the comics, Kyle Rayner has become a White Lantern. But now you all want to know the White Lantern's Oath, which goes like this. Brightest day and brightest night, let my ring shine the brightest light. When evil comes, I will join the fight. The power of the White Lanterns is the strongest might. 
Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I couldn't mention everything about each Lantern Core, but I think everything I did mention is suffice and gives you a pretty good overview of all the Lantern Cores. But now it's time to give you guys some reading recommendations. You have Green Lantern Blackest Night, Green Lantern Brightest Day, Red Lanterns Volume 1 Blood and Rage, and Green Lantern New Guardians Volume 1 The Ring Bearer, just to name a few. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you get the power to influence and control what people find when they search for you online. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. Domain.com is affordable, reliable, and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com gave Variants an awesome offer. Get 50% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code Variant at checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. First up for Wednesday, September 17th, we have Thor God of Thunder issue 25. In this issue, Thor fights the Frost Giants. Next we have Hulk Annual 1. Someone close to the Hulk dies, see what impact this will have on one of the most dangerous super beings on the planet. Here we have Batman, Superman, Futures, and One Shot. A new super being seeks out Batman. See who this creature is. And finally we have Justice League Futures and One Shot. The mystery of the Martian Manhunter is finally revealed. Well, that brings another episode of Variant to a close, but do not fret, I will be back here next week. Until then, you can like our Variant Facebook page to keep up with the show and all things comic related. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ares underscore Quinones, but I will see you guys next week when I talk about all things comics. A new super being seeks out Batman. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I got it. Okay, 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 okay. You're right, you're right, you got it, you got it, you got it, I got it, you got it, I got it, a little bit. You ready? You ready? I'm ready.